What is up guys and welcome back. Right, this video I'm going to show you a ton of lightning strike which I've recorded over the last couple of months with this game. So at the start I'm going to show you two locations on the map where there are constant effects of lightning strikes. The area is burned down and stuff like that. And then I'm going to show you some random clips of single lightning strikes moving on to the lengthy storms and uh, showing you the entire storm and how crazy these weather patterns actually are. Okay, so the first lightning strike or the lightning impact zone is going to be right over here next to Annisburg or under the word of Annisburg. And over here you'll see a patch of trees and some grass which has been burnt out. And this is the effect of a lightning strike. Now, I've come here multiple times within a storm. Okay, run over your horse's head. I've come here multiple times in a storm. And uh, I haven't been able to get a lightning strike to hit this area. But I have heard rumors that there are secret lightning strikes you can get. So if you want to come around here on a stormy night and try and get it to strike, then do that. If you've ever been close enough to a lightning strike impact or impact zone, you'll see it looks pretty similar to this. And if you look at the trees here, the trees actually explode. This happens in Cape Town sometimes when the lightning strikes the tree and the water inside heats up so quickly it actually expands and explodes. The tree actually explodes. And that is something crazy. And the next spot is going to be in uh, New Austin. And this is a much larger area. And there's some unfortunate travelers as well that were struck by lightning here. This is on the Rio de Loba Rock right over there and as you can see this is a much larger area all the way around to the left and the right constantly burnt out and again trees with the explosions i wish i could get a lightning strike to hit this place but i've camped here for hours and in-game days and just nothing as you can see we've got two guys that were fried and then you've got two bulls which is strange because i haven't seen a, a bull drawn cart before but uh, now I have, although these bulls could have just been in the vicinity as well. Who knows? Got a bit of a fright there when I walked into that. I thought that thing was still alive. But uh, I tried to go up and loot these guys, but they're not holding anything. So don't bother doing that. And just adding little things like this. Rockstar, they've just done such an amazing job with the detail and the stories behind all of these weird things that you can find in the wild and these random encounters. So I had another look around here with the eagle eye, but there's nothing to pick up. It's just something to come and have a look at. Like I said, just something cool Rockstar have added. But in a couple of seconds, we're going to head on to the first initial lightning strikes. And like I said before, these are just going to be random clips. And then later on, we're going to show you more lengthy storms. All right, let's have a look. So starting from worst to best, I think it's going to be like that. Some lightning with the butcher there. Some of them stay for such a long time. Now my favorite's going to be in the swamp area. Um, because of the trees and everything make the lightning look so much better. But distance lightning like this is also pretty cool. The red dead storm chaser. Now my whole idea with this was to get struck by lightning. As you can see. That was close. But later on, it gets very close. He actually gets affected by the lightning strike. He takes a step back and stumbles. And that's going to be on the Bouncing Boy mission. And I will show all of that later. Two massive ones there behind the trees. I think this is also the Bouncing Boy. Crazy sheet lightning there. A bit later as well, I'll show some of them in slow-mo. Gives you a very nice viewing angle of these things and how they come out of the sky. And how they actually progress through the cloud and into the ground. And they actually show some impact sparks as well, which is mad. Alright, some distance lightning here. Massive. always good to face the storm if you want to go check out some lightning so the clouds are coming from my right I should be facing that direction you're more likely to see the lightning coming from the direction of the storm 
awesome ones there. And I felt those two merited a slow-mo. Alright, is there another one? I think there is a small one in the distance. Okay, moving on. It's going to be so much better at night as well, obviously. Especially when it's heavily overcast all around, because a lot of the time you'll have a storm in the distance. As you can see there, check this out. Look at that impact zone. Whack. Amazing, amazing detail. It's so far away as well. Okay, same area. Perfect viewing point from this angle. And some more sheet lightning. And one more for good measure. Just missed that one to the right hand side, that was fairly close. Awesome. I think I recorded in total of about maybe two and a half, three hours of lightning strikes. And the storms are fairly constant in Red Dead. And they can come and go so quickly, as I'll show you a little bit later, how quickly they can dissipate. They just disappear, pretty much. Crack! That one deserves a slow-mo. Just amazing. Okay, I think we move on to the next one. Up in the mountains. Trying to get them to strike some trees in front of me. And that one was fairly close, but no cigar. Now we do some storm chasing, get to a higher ground, get a better overlook, and face the direction of the storm. I'm not sure if I knew that at this point. Awesome, double strike, put that in the bag, yeah look at this one, there's a bit of a zigzag in the middle there, that was cool. Perfect cloudy weather for this kind of thing, there's another one. This one arcs my head perfectly. Now down in uh, New Austin, it always has this orange tinge to it. I'm assuming because it's the dust, being a desert area. But this particular one, I'm playing slow-mo. Now look at the lighting on the mountain and around the surrounding area. Absolutely perfect. Crazy. Well done, Rockstar. I think Bethesda could take a couple of hints from you guys. I think the Fallout 76 is going to be free, which sucks massive dick because I paid 60 bucks for it and now it's 22 pounds a week later and now it's probably going to go free. But uh, the less we speak about that, the better. Some awesome multiple fishing strikes. Cool. And this was back in the day, fishing for the legendary catfish. And yes, congrats Rockstar, you catfished us. Now the next one I want to do in super slow-mo because it's massive. That about just changes direction. This one's online. Absolute monster. Whole area lights up. Just insane. for a long time as well. Some more fishing. I think this is in the, in the east. A couple of multi-strikes there. And then I started chasing it. I think this is one of the first footages I recorded. And that actually got me into thinking about doing a video for this. Awesome sheet lightning.
Now this is on the Bright Bouncing Boy mission. And this is when you can get a lot of lightning strikes. It's a pretty much a perpetual storm. It won't stop until you finish the mission. So this is when they strike now. This is very unfortunate. After all the effort I've put in, I missed the lightning strike that hits the tree straight in front of me. So I look down to try and find the spot to put this rod in. As I do that, crap, I miss it. I was very pissed off with that, but uh, I got over it. I got some cool shots in the distance, and now it just goes tits up. So many lightning strikes because of this mission requires you to actually plant the rods for the lightning. So there's tons of strikes here now. I'm just going to go through them all. Now the next one is one of the first ones that actually affect me right there. Crack. Take a step back. Have your eyebrows singed and the feather in your hat burnt. You show some in slow motion on this one. See this one I show in slow motion because the exit of the lightning from the cloud actually changes the thickness because in the cloud you can only see the core strike, you can't see the glow. And as it exits the cloud, it goes into a more a fatter glow. So much detail again, it's crazy. That was pretty much next to me, it doesn't get affected. One strikes just to my left very soon. That one was the right. There is a left, that's also crazy, very close. The closest I've come I think on that one to being struck and then bang on my left. I thought I was going to get a hit for sure. I actually started holding my gun up in the air when you push the D-pad down to try and let it strike that. But it didn't happen. Again, right next to me. Just wanting to get struck so badly. And you could stay up here for ages. This is up in the northeast, the robot mission. The Frankenstein robot, if you will. And while you're doing this, like I said earlier, it's just a perpetual storm. And that's his building down there, so it keeps striking that building. On the lightning conductor. But I could watch it for hours, just like in real life. Now you head back down on the mission. And you can stand right underneath this and see tons. Now this is kind of like my favorite area, the darkness of the clouds. And I'll show you a little bit later one that's coming through on uh, Blackwater, which is just mad. That's awesome. But this particular storm is not moving very fast or at all. So it'll take a long time for the lightning to get to you. But it does look pretty cool from a distance, even the sheet lightning. Okay, back up in the mountains. Massive crack there. Should start grading them. That one was massive. A couple seconds later some more, and then the storm just disappears. Just like it's striking my head. Massive one there as well. And some slow-mo. Now I have noticed that some of the lightning strikes are the same but they look different because you're looking at them from different angles but a lot of them are actually the same. Back in the swamp, Bayer Noir, awesome strikes there and it has to be my favorite area, the swamps as well as the tall trees. Massive one again. 
just rolling in. Alright, we're coming up to the crazy storm soon. You'll get a lot of storms in uh, St. Denis when you're overlooking the water like this. It's always lightning. Has anyone seen Gavin? I have to keep that in. Now this kind of storm is awesome because it's coming straight towards me. It's dark and there's no rain. If you're lucky enough to have a subwoofer, make sure it's loud. Or if you've got headphones, use those as well. It's so much more intense with the, the thundery effect. I'm going to let this play through. Now it starts going a bit tits up, it pretty much strikes that boat right next to me. Just absolutely crazy. Alright guys, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. I've got tons more videos on the way. I've got the Resident Evil starting tonight, then the Kingdom Hearts, and then the Metro Exodus. I've started doing this full time now. I've set up my green screen, ready to make the channel as best as I can. So remember, if you like the content, smash the like button, hit the notification icon. And I want to say thanks for watching, and I want to catch you on the next one.